Hi everyone, hola muchachos, hola muchachos, and welcome for this open the box. Uh, today we are going to open a uh, uh, case. Uh, this is a uh, transport for your miniatures. Yeah, that's that's right. Storage and transport of your miniatures. Yes. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so again, it's in the home of Pierre. Yes. Yes, Pierre home. My pleasure. You are my guest <laughs> because I uh, move to, to uh, another home. Uh, to the countryside, <laughs> let's call it this way. And uh, for this time, so during August, I'm not going to show you a lot of stuff, but uh, in September, we are going to start painting a new work. So, for this open the box, um, I start and I try as a AKs, um, and we are going to open it and I know that Pierre have already won, right? Yes, I did the first Kickstarter of AKs and I already have my box, which is super useful, it's beautiful. You had the opportunity to customize it during the first Kickstarter, so that's me, and that's my box, so that when you go into a tournament or something like that, you know that this is your box. And um, check this out open the box and you've got these shelves which are metal shelves you can put your magnetized miniatures on it and then store it so you you prevent all the scratching from the foam boxes and stuff and then you store it like that the, the cool thing is that according to the size of your miniatures you can change the display of the, the box and close it and you are ready to travel the world with your AKs. Wow. Ooh. So this is oh. a prototype. It looks like 3D printed. And that's a storage for all your Token. accessories, tokens. And it's also magnetized. Wow, so that's cool. cool. That's really nice. And so this is the... Um, the bag? The bag. Right now, as you can see, it, it's empty. Oh, well. Okay, so in the box, you've got some magnets that you can use to magnetize your miniatures. This system is to lock the shelves into the boxes into the box and this that? is also um, yeah this is also cool because in the first kickstarter you had to build the shelves yourself bending all these things and now they just come uh, pre-built and i also like the i also really like the, mat the, the 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 new metal that they are using and if you want to compare it to the first kickstarter that we had i think this is more much more premium Right. Yes. Really more. Yeah. yeah. How many shelves here? Three. Wow, that's so so very new. Difficult things seems to remove the the plastic bag, but it's a good thing because I think that uh, for shipping uh, to it protect means that uh, your stuff would be protected. It seems really more qualitative than the first one. And it's uh, one thing uh, he tell me that every time he try to take care of the different feedback. And that seems to be right. So the f very first one and the last one with a different amelioration. So the metal is really better. Uh, the build is really, really more easy. Uh, the quality of the metal, or the quality of the bag. Too. Okay, so here we can compare the first edition of AKs and the new Kickstarter. So the new, uh, the new box. So we've got some uh, magnetized miniatures on it. I, I really like this one because the shelves really fit into the the box very easily yeah. because of the the new uh, metal that we are using but also this is going all the 
all along the box, which was not the case in the previous one. If you see this, you have to slide it in. That's the first Kickstarter version. Yeah. And then uh, always be careful to put it the right way. You see, I'm struggling a bit to put it right. But then with the new one, the new one, you've got this that is going all along the box. So you just need to slide your shelf into the box. I'm not in front of it, so it's not, but you see. And also the, the metal that they used in this new box really slides smoothly and um, it's really nice. Thank you, Pierre. My Thank pleasure. you very much. I and love it. You love it? Yeah, nice. I want one. Yes. I need one. Yes. Thank you very much and see you soon. So, hey, Miss, I am in my new home. Uh, thanks again to Pia. Um, and uh, it's one month I uh, make the first uh, video and uh, I use it a lot and it's pretty uh, practical. Uh, you can have something like 1000 uh, points of a uh, 40k army. Um, I uh, I play a lot of uh, Songs of Ice and Fire miniatures game too and I have my uh, 40 points of uh, Targaryen easily fit into and as you can see uh, you can uh, manage uh, the, the size for example for this one I'm going to remove it and put some other one you can fit more easily so I can complete totally this uh, step and step by step I'm going to complete uh, the new beast naga it's fitting in a good way in the same uh, normally I use some uh, five units of this beast naga I can put something like uh, I don't know uh, six or seven on one uh, on one uh, stage so you can easily put two like that um, this is a victory too. Uh, I can uh, uh, give you some advice to take the up uh, level if you uh, play uh, more than only a skirmish game. And as I explained, you can have um, something like 1000 for 40k, 1000 point of miniatures, um, more about elite miniatures. Um, uh, for example, some custodes army uh, for 1000 points will perfectly fit I think in this box and if you want you can always take the, the other one the a little bigger uh, that can be more easily if you play 40k uh, if you play uh, a, a songs of ice and fire same things if you want to set your miniatures directly on the base on the large base uh, take the larger so you can directly put uh, your uh, standees directly on is a base. Also, thanks again for watching. I'm going to put you in li a link into the description and don't hesitate to comment and give me your feedback about uh, these AKs. Thanks again and see you guys.